and welcome. So today I'm gonna introduce you to two of our more badass snakes. We have two false water cobras, and yes, you heard the name right, a false water cobra. We have both a male and a female, and we named them Cleopatra and Anubis. A pretty fitting name if you ask me. These two guys are pretty, pretty badass because they do have venom. I'm not very good handling venomous snakes, so I let my boyfriend Timmy handle them. What we're gonna show you today is how we feed both the male and the female and we also gonna take you along for when we change the terrarium so you can just have a general look at them. I'm not gonna sit here in front of the camera handling them. As I said, I'm not that comfortable with uh, venomous snakes. We are gonna have Timmy do that in just a couple of seconds. I'm gonna have him in here uh, handling the snake so you can really, really get a good look at it. The first snake we're gonna take a look at is our female. This is Cleopatra. She is the nicer one of our two false water cobras. We can handle, or Timmy can handle both of them easily, but she's the one who's being the most gentle one. So she's the one we're bringing forward to show you guys today. She's looking absolutely stunning. I haven't seen any morph types when it comes to false water cobras. So they all pretty much look the same. As you can see, she has uh, blue eyes, which means that she's in shed. Normally you should leave the snake alone when it's in shed, but we really wanted you guys to see her, so we're just having her out for just a couple of minutes. All right, away goes Cleopatra. This is not her terrarium. This is just a temporary box. Off to the feeding then, we feed them with baby rats. This is the male, he is the, the more aggressive one, and you will see why in just a second. As you can see here, the hood is where the false water cobra got the name from. They are not cobras, not at all, but when they get scared or when they get, get aggressive, you will see this hood, which kind of like resembles the, the cobra. The big difference with these two guys is that the cobra really likes to stand up, the false water cobra does not. And these guys are pretty pretty aggressive eaters as you can see. They will they just they just swallow. They don't care. They just swallow the prey. I haven't seen anything like it in any other of the snakes that we have. These guys never refuse to meal, very very aggressive eaters and they eat very very fast. Very important. All right, this is the female. Normally when snakes are in shed, they tend to refuse to eat. But not this girl. As I said before, an aggressive eater. Normally when snakes catch their prey, she got the one in the back right here, as you can see. They will, uh, they will readjust and then take them from the front. Not this girl, not these guys, the false water crew. She doesn't care, uh, she will eat it, as you can see. She doesn't care. So she's basically swallowing it from behind and up. This is another reason why we are very keen on feeding with dead. Imagine if this one was alive, I'm not sure that the venom would have killed it in time enough before basically that they start to eat right away and then the prey dies as they are eating. So imagine if this has been a live one. So that's why we do the pre-kill. She's almost done. As I said, it, it goes down pretty, pretty quickly. And as soon as they're done eating, they're pretty much ready for more. So you really have to be on tiptoes with these snakes because they're very, very fast and they can be aggressive. I've seen people free handle them. That's pretty badass. Not something I would do since they have venom. All done. So time for the cleanup. And fresh water, always fresh water. These guys like to soak in the water, so we try to keep a bowl in there big enough for them to be in. This is the box that we're keeping them in right now. Helps with the humidity. A 
As you can see, we have drilled these holes on the side. Make sure that they get plenty of air. And that's pretty much it. Thank you, Timmy. All right, guys, that was all for today. I really, really hope that you enjoyed meeting both Anubis and Cleopatra. As you can see, they're still very small. They're nowhere near an adult snake. But I really hope you do enjoyed meeting them and seeing them. It's not a snake that you often meet uh, with people who have reptiles. They are more for experienced owners. They should be handled by experienced owners. It's not a snake that you should buy as your second snake after you got the ball pythons. But they are definitely uh, worth a look. They're really, really magnificent and they're really special. I really, really like them, even though I'm scared of them. Give the video a like so I know that you like what I make. It really does mean a lot to me. If you have any comments and questions, please do write me. You can do it right in the comment section and I try my best to answer every single one of you. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of the videos I'm doing. I really hope you do. That's all for today. Thank you and bye bye.